Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Mountain Harmony Gardening. I'm Kristen and today we're going to be talking fertilizers and soil amendments. First, we're gonna talk about what are soil amendments. So soil amendments are any material that you can add to soil that helps improve its properties, such as water drainage or water retention, and also aeration or the structure of the soil. This provides a better environment for the plant's roots to grow. And also soil amendments are something that you mix into the soil. So like compost, you can spread on top, but can you also mix it in? and then mulch is something that you just spread on top. So that wouldn't be considered a soil amendment, but you can sometimes use it as that. The first brand of products that I'm gonna talk about today are down to earth. I've been using them probably about three or four years now, and I really like their results. And I learned that a lot of soil is depleted from trace minerals. So that's why I use azomite. It is a trace mineral that you can add back to your soil. And it's mined in central Utah from an ancient volcanic eruption. And it helps improve plant growth, it helps crops, and of course it remineralizes the soil. And I add it to the compost and soil mixtures that I use when I'm digging into the garden in spring. The next down to earth product that I use is oyster shells, and they are a great source of calcium, especially for your tomatoes. And they are a more coarse ground, so they're not powdered, and this helps it release over time so that you give a steady supply of calcium to your tomatoes. It helps improve the soil structure, and then also helps plants grow through tomatoes. And what I do is when I'm planting my tomatoes, I mix this in the soil in the hole where I'm planting the tomatoes. It's a great product. The newest down to earth product I bought is called BioLive. And it's more of an all purpose fertilizer. And I thought I needed something that was a little bit more general than the other two, because they're a little bit more specific. So it's a blend of marine byproducts infused with beneficial microorganisms. It improves the utilization and the nutrient uptake of plants. So it helps roots and crops of all different types of plants, not just your garden plants. And what you do is you mix it into the soil or you add it to your potting mixes. So I'm really looking forward to trying this product out this year. I was really hoping to finish this video outside in my garden but it started raining. It's been raining on and off all week and I've really been wanting to do this video out in the garden in the sunshine, which it was sunshining when I first started, but we're gonna have to finish in the house so that I can get this uploaded today. So the next product that we're gonna talk about is Plant Success Organics. And they have three different products and I have all of them here and I use all of them and I've been using them probably for four or five years now and I really like them. So what they do is they help the plant establish quickly with mycorrhizae, bacteria, and trihodomy. And hopefully I said that correctly. I'm not sure if I did or not. I did my best. And also they have uh, a plant or fertilizer in these two. So the way that they work is the microbes combine symbiotically with organic plant food and it enhances the plant growth and the root growth too. And the first product that I use, and you can see that it's really dirty because I've used this a lot, is their granular formula. And what I do is I sprinkle it on the roots of the plants when I'm transplanting them. And since they're granular, they're a little bit more slow release and this helps get them existing, you know, really good, established, and it starts the mycorrhizal um, connection with the plants. The next one, is a soluble formula and what I do is I put this in a sprayer and I spray my plants every two weeks with it and this works really good and I've had both of these for quite a few years so it lasts a long time. The next one is Mycochum and what it does is it boosts the health of the soil and the way I use this product is I actually add it to my Boogie Brew which is the product that we will be talking about next. The final product that we're gonna be talking about that I purchase online 
is Boogie Brew. And I cannot rave about this product enough. If you can only get one of these products, get the Boogie Brew. It's amazing. Every time I use it, I notice that the plants just perk up and they start growing a lot better. So, how does this work? Well, it has phenomenal growth rates and it establishes strong roots. And because it's a compost tea, the nutrients break down a lot faster and it makes it more bioavailable for the plant. And I use it every two weeks. And that's where I put the bio chum stuff inside of it as well. So I actually do use both of these products together, but just having these by themselves works good too. So it's a two part compost tea. So you take a little bit of this and a little bit of this, and of course all the instructions come with this and you actually put it in a five gallon bucket and you use like a fish aerator, like you use for like your fish tanks, you know, and give the bubbles and that helps activate it. It's amazing. So it's, it kind of aerates for 24 hours and then you put it in a sprayer and you spray your whole entire yard. It's not just good for your garden plants. It is awesome for your whole entire yard. And I will put links to all of the products I'm using in the description so that you guys can find them for yourselves and purchase them. But this comes highly, highly recommended. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about today is comfrey tea. And I know if you watched my other videos that I have told you that I have a large comfrey plant that I have been growing for a long time now. And if there was one herb that I could grow, it would be comfrey. Because not only is it good for us, it's also good for our garden. So for the first time this year, I am actually going to make comfrey tea. And what it does is it helps the overall growth of your plant. And how that works is that it establishes a really deep taproot and then it pulls up minerals that other plants can't because it does establish such a deep taproot. And you use it on established plants and not your seedlings because it can be a little bit too strong for your seedlings. I hope this helps all of you with some ideas for different types of soil amendments and fertilizers for your own garden. And all of these are organic as well. So you're not gonna be adding any chemicals to your garden. And that's what I love about these products. So thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I read all of your comments and I love it when you share info with the community. So happy gardening everyone.